Well, thank you, Vice Chancellor. Uh, friends, ladies and gentlemen, it's a pleasure to join you uh, today to give you a few brief words of endorsement and encouragement for this uh, conference. When Chalquette first asked me to speak, I was still the Minister for Immigration and Citizenship. <laughs> and uh, when a portfolio changes, normally uh, you cancel all the commitments that you'd made and the new minister may or may not be able to come and you move on and deal with your new portfolio. But I was keen to attend today, firstly because Chalquette's a friend and I didn't want to disappoint him. Uh, secondly, because many of you are friends and it was good to see you. Uh, but thirdly, because, of course, multicultural media, ethnic media, is not just an immigration and citizenship issue. It's an issue much more broad than that. And so I'm pleased to be here as a member of the Federal Cabinet uh, to endorse and provide some words of encouragement to this conference. Now, uh, of course, as you know, crossroads cross, uh, is a good way of putting it. There are challenges for multicultural media. I don't think there's anything any such thing uh, these days as an ethnic newspaper, an ethnic radio station, are all, you're all ethnic communications channels, all mechanisms for talking to and talking with very important communities in Australia, regardless of the format, regardless of that, whether that be paper or internet or radio or what form it may take. And I think your sector will rise to the challenge and will be stronger for it. Uh, this is not a negative uh, thing, not a challenge which can't be overcome. I think it's a massive opportunity for multicultural media in Australia. The reason, the other reason, as I said, I wanted to be here is because multicultural media is so important, so important in a broad sense. It's so important to multicultural Australia, having a strong and vibrant multicultural media sector really says it's okay, uh, of course, to, be, to continue that culture under our principles and official government policy now of multiculturalism. It's okay uh, to continue to have an interest in what is happening in one's homeland. It's okay to have uh, communications channels in different languages. If you didn't have that, then we wouldn't be a truly multicultural nation. One of the things I'll always be proud of in my time as Minister for Immigration was the official reigniting and re-endorsing of multiculturalism as Australia's national policy. And we wouldn't be able to do that without the people in this room. We wouldn't be a truly multicultural nation without a strong and vibrant multicultural media sector. Now, I know that we regard it as important. One of the things we've done in recent years is institute the uh, multicultural media post-budget press briefings in Canberra, which I know many of you have come to with the Prime Minister and other senior ministers, where the day after the federal budget, we talk directly to multicultural media about what's in the federal budget and what the implications are across the board. And uh, there are always good sessions and they'll continue. Uh, I know in my time both as Minister for Immigration and as Member for Prospect and then McMahon in Western Sydney, just how important uh, as I say, part of the community is multicultural media. One of the things, one of the great things about going into a news agent uh, in my electorate, and Guy Zangari, the member for Fairfield, uh, my state counterpart is here as well, going into a news agent and seeing the array of newspapers that you can get, many of you represented here, which says so much about our community. It's a great thing and a, and a, and a touching thing, a simple thing just to walk into a news agent and say that, but it says so much about the area we represent, the area we live, and what we're proud of. So I just wanted to congratulate you on conducting this forum. I know that you will get much out of it. Congratulations to Charquette and the other uh, state MPs that are here, Guy Zangari and Amanda Fazio, and I know you've already heard from John Robertson. It does show a level of interest and dialogue uh, with each other. I would love to stay for lunch, but I do have to get to Canberra for a cabinet meeting, um, which is, which we have to do, uh, but, uh, but apart from that, I wanted to wish you all the best and support. Uh, you will go on and continue to be a strong and vibrant sector. These other platforms are things to be used and capitalised on. And the fact that many communities are becoming, all communities are becoming fully integrated into Australian society, that second and third generations uh, participate in mainstream media does not mean for one second that those particular 
uh, multicultural platforms will cease in importance. Our, our, our oldest ethnic newspaper in Australia is still a strong and vibrant one, uh, which started in the 19th century, the, the newspaper for French Australians. Uh, still strong, still vibrant, even though it's a comparatively small community and almost all members of the uh, French Australian community speak fluent English and participate in full uh, mainstream media, of course there's an ongoing and cherished place for that newspaper as there is for all multicultural media in Australia. Thank you and good luck.